My name is Bill Kinch. I've been a paramedic for 30 years, starting my 31st year in March of this year. And I became a paramedic because I thought I wanted to be a firefighter. So I took an EMT class uh, to be able to get a better score on my fire department test. And during that process, I realized that this EMT stuff was kind of fun. I went through Firefighter One training and during that process realized that one, it's very hot and a guy like that's built like me doesn't belong in a very hot place. And I also realized that people run out of a burning building for a very, very good reason. So because of that, I decided I would maintain my EMT and started my life as an EMT. Interestingly enough, this is a fairly routine job. Uh, one would not think that being a paramedic is a routine job, but it can be because you do a lot of the same calls day in and day out. Um, you have to establish a routine because it's the only way you keep yourself sane. So a typical day for a paramedic is you come through the door, get a shift, a shift report from the night shift before, um, trying to figure out if everything's okay with the vehicle, if there's any particular pieces of equipment that you may need or things that didn't work well during their shift. And then you go to your vehicle and you check your vehicle. You make sure that you have all of the necessary equipment to be able to do your job and do your job appropriately. There's nothing worse than getting on a call and not being adequately prepared for an emergency. And when you think of paramedicine, you think of life-threatening emergencies, but that's actually only about 2 to 5% of the total call volume a paramedic does in any given day. The majority of work that we do is pretty much compassionate, hand-holding, and management of chronic disease. We get this question a lot as paramedics, what was the quote worst call you've ever done or what's the scariest component or um, my scariest call. In 1986 in the streets of Lynn, I got a call for a woman thrown off the third story balcony. So we uh, come into this, what looked like a driveway next to a home, which was actually a street. We pulled into the parking lot of this particular uh, three-story residence and sure enough there was a woman uh, face down, very broken, very sick um, in the parking lot. And I was not happy about this because the only way in is that one driveway. But I had to go in and actually take care of this woman. There was a part of me that wanted to turn the vehicle around and leave it, but um, it was obviously not appropriate to drive away from this woman who people were already yelling and calling for us to come out and help her. So I pulled the vehicle up close to her, got out of the vehicle, got the equipment to help her. And her um, estranged uh, ex-husband pulled in behind our ambulance, blocked the driveway, and then pulled the gun on all of us and threatened to kill us if uh, we did anything um, to help her in any way, shape, or form. Fortunately, that was witnessed by a multitude of people and police came out of the woodwork and saved us. But uh, there was plenty of shots fired. There was lots of activity and lots of action. That was probably as close um, to death as I felt. The, the good and the bad part of the job is there's these uh, oddities and atrocities thrown in uh, on occasion. So it's a great job because you never know what's coming next. Um, that's the good part. The better part is, is that you actually get paid to help and be kind to people. And after 30 years, of which I must admit I haven't done this day in and day out for 31 years, I've had other parts of my life that I've diversified in, um, such as the dispatch environment or resource management or even um, executive management roles, which have helped break up the routineness and the sameness of being a paramedic. But I still love it every day. At uh, my young age of uh, 50 years old, I still go to work three times a week, Monday night, Tuesday night, uh, 3 to 11, and Thursday 16-hour shifts in order to take care of people and uh, do this job still.